Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther. Today we're going to check it out, the slice text effect in Illustrator. Today I want to share with you a really nice course that will teach you the basics of typography. I would like to introduce you to Daniel and Lucasio from Latino Type. Some of their clients are such as Apple, Starbucks and Converse. In this course you will learn the principles of typography like the anatomy of letters, stylistic coherence, format spacing, so you can design a modular alphabet in Adobe Illustrator. You will discover the special characteristics of an alphabet and also you will learn how these guys build a perfect alphabet efficiently. You will see how to design the lowercase letters all the way to the uppercase letters and finally the numbers. To find out more or click the link in the description and join the course. Now let's get back to our tutorial. Okay, first step, let's select the text you want to edit. So I'm going to edit my logo and I'm going to flip uh, from fill to stroke. So I'm going to flip it from here. Now on the stroke, I'm going to select the line tool right here. I'm going to press and hold shift, create a line like this. I go to effects, go to distort and transform, transform. Uh, we're going to type in here in the vertical one, two, three. So we're gonna create a lot of copies. Actually, I'm gonna make it more. There you go, something like this. I'm gonna go with nine. So there's like more distance in, in between the lines. So I'm gonna go with 70, click OK. I'm gonna go to object, expand appearance. And I'm gonna pull the logo on the lines. And I'm thinking to also make it more dense. So I'm gonna make it more narrow, something like this. I'm gonna arrange it. So make sure that the top line, it won't uh, have this empty space in here. So I need to pull it down a little and it's gonna be something like this. So it's gonna cut off a little bit of the top part of the letters, okay? I gotta do the same thing with the bottom version. There you go. Okay, so select both the text and the lines, press shift plus M, or you can go and select the direct selection tool, press and hold shift plus alt, and you can select the lines which need to be deleted like this. I'm gonna do the same thing with the rest. I'm gonna press, press and hold control, and basically I can delete it this way too. Okay, so it looks something like this. I'm gonna remove, so th basically we're gonna be left with these lines. I'm gonna remove the rest of the logo. I'm gonna recolor the stroke to a lighter gray and decrease the stroke thickness. The 0, 0.75 is good. I'm gonna go to the effects, 3D materials. I'm gonna go with 3D classics, extrude and bevel. I'm gonna increase the extrusion depth a little more. 70 is good, click OK. I'm gonna go to object, expand appearance, right click on group, right click on group, right click on group again. I'm gonna zoom in, select one of these layers and go to select same appearance. I'm gonna grab this and put this here. I'm gonna delete the rest of the lines. From here, I'm gonna go and recolor the field to white. I'm gonna add a black stroke and it's gonna look something like this. And this is how you achieve this slice text effect. Thank you so much for watching. And if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye-bye.